So this video demonstrates how to create a little zip pocket like this. Okay, so you might find one of these in a jacket or any type of garment, maybe in a trouser. And you can see the you have to do a slash line in the fabric, um, fold it back and insert this zip. And then you have to finish it off with a pocket bag. So first you start with your close end zip, so a zip um, that opens down um, and stops there, it has a stopper at the end. And you can see the teeth, so it's not an invisible or concealed zip. So what you need to do first is measure your zip from one end to the other. So that's 18 centimeters that zip is. So on your garment where you will have the positions of the zip, the placement of the zip marked with either tailor tacks or maybe little chalk marks that would come through a drill hole that would be for the um, full length of the zip. You'll need to then come back in about 1.5 from that position. So this is 18 centimeters, the length of our zip. We mark that, we come back in 1.5 on each side. Um, and then we draw an angled line out. So the one at the 18 centimeter length, we need to put two straight lines, perpendicular lines, and then measure at 0.5 and down 0.5 and draw little angled lines. This will be our cutting line that we will cut along. So we'll take that here and cut. And then you're gonna cut into that point and into the other point. Now you have the opening prepared. So this piece here can be pressed back about 0.5 centimeters. And the other side 0.5. And this piece will be flipped back and we'll have a nice opening to place our zip in here. So take time to press back the edges neatly, as you can see there, so that, so that the zip fits perfectly into this opening and then you just line it up pin it up along and stitch it it may be advisable to hand tack around it to hold it in place So now I have my zip tacked all into position here, my hand tacking, and I'm going to just simply stitch all the way along the edge of this pivot, uh, pivot again and stitch all the way around to secure the zip. So here you have the zip stitched all the way nicely around 
I'm going to pull out the tacking stitch. So here is our finished slip with the stitch line all the way around and the tacking taken. So the next step would be attaching the pocket bag to this zip. So we'll flip it over. So what I have here is um, one side cut in fabric and one cut in lining. The uh, lining is one centimeter shorter. So you would attach um, the fabric piece to the top so that when you open your zip um, and you see in, you would see fabric. So that would go in that position. So you'd line it up like that and there is a tiny, it's only, it's only a small bit of seam allowance but you'd be able to stitch it along there. Likewise the lining then would um, attach in a similar manner to the bottom. So again there's only a small little bit of seam allowance but you could stitch it along there and that will fold down. So I'm pinning this fabric piece here. And I can stitch along there to attach it. I'm using the, still using the zip foot. So you can see it from the outside now. Unzip, and you have your piece of fabric there. So now it's time for the, the lining piece on the bottom. It goes like that because you want it to stitch this way and come back. We want to be sure that it's lined up with our top piece and not out of line. So like that. And I'm going to pin it. have the pocket and we have the fabric there and we have lining here. So you can see from the inside there it's nicely finished. Now we just need to sew up the pocket bag. We just need to sew uh, down, pivot, over and back up. So we pin that. So we're going to pull that back here and we can stitch right down along here. sewn up and back and around and we have our pocket bag from the inside.